Happy New Year! Welcome to the first edition of What's Happening Around Town for 2014. I'm Stephanie Tevis. It's time for a fresh start and the City of San Bruno has many events and activities planned. 2014 is the 100th year that San Bruno has been an incorporated city. Throughout the year, different events will be planned for you to enjoy. And of course, we will keep you informed here on this program. Stay tuned! Haven't had your fill of New Year's festivities? Join us on Monday, January 27th for the annual Chinese New Year celebration at the library. The party starts at 6.30 p.m. with a bilingual story time in Mandarin and English. Make crafts and enjoy refreshments at this free event. People of all ages are welcome to celebrate the Year of the Horse at the 7th Annual Chinese New Year Celebration on January 27th at 6.30 p.m. in the San Bruno Library's basement community room. If you just had a baby and you're wondering when to begin reading to him, the time is now. Baby story time in the library on Wednesdays at 11.15, starting on January 22nd. This story time is for newborns to 18-month-old babies. Join us with your little ones in the children's library room, just off the main room of the library. Begin reading to your child as soon as she is born. And learn songs and rhymes to use at home, too. Did you just receive an ebook reader for the holidays and you're not sure how to use it? Learn how to download free Overdrive ebooks at the ebook open house on Thursday, January 9th in the library's downstairs community room. No reservations are necessary for this free workshop. Just stop by on Thursday, January 9th from 6:15 until 8 p.m. Bring your ebook reader, smartphone, or tablet to the ebook open house. The Affordable Care Act begins this month. Not sure how it will affect you? If you don't have health insurance or you purchase your own, this free workshop will answer your questions. And it will be held in Tagalog. On Thursday, January 23rd at 6.30 p.m., come to the Affordable Care Act workshop in the library's basement community room. You will even have an opportunity to make an appointment to get insurance enrollment assistance. And we will hold another workshop in English this February. Stay tuned. Every once in a while, people need help planning their finances. If you are anticipating retirement, have aging parents to care for, or expect to receive an inheritance, the Financial Planning Workshop is for you. Every third Wednesday in January through March, come to the library from 6 to 8 p.m. for financial advice on these specific topics. <laughs> if your New Year resolution includes getting into shape, then why not try American line dancing? The San Bruno Recreation Center is offering line dancing classes as a fun form of low-impact exercise. Grab your cowboy boots and enjoy a free introductory course on January 27th at 6 p.m. Learn different line dancing and register for more classes on site. If you think you have what it takes to swim in the icy waters of winter, pre-register now for the annual polar bear plunge. Grab your swimsuit and head on over to the unheated San Bruno pool on Saturday, January 25th. You will receive a long sleeve t-shirt and a snack after you swim. Proceeds benefit the Youth Enhancement Scholarship Fund. Be sure to register before January 16th so you can indicate your preferred t-shirt size. The Polar Bear Plunge on January 25th at the San Bruno Pool. Dads, are you looking for a special way to engage with your daughter? Bring her to the 12th Annual Father-Daughter Dinner Dance on Saturday, February 1st. Here's a chance for the two of you to dress up and spend some quality time together. Enjoy a delicious dinner, then dance the night away. This event is for daughters who are 4 to 11 years old. Each family will receive a photo so you can remember the evening for years to come. The Father-Daughter Dinner Dance on Saturday, February 1st from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Tickets are limited, so buy yours today. Want to know what only costs $15? Your annual voluntary membership to the San Bruno Senior Center. It is a small price to pay and the benefits are huge. For only $15, you get a free lunch ticket, a free happy hour ticket, a free pastry at Freddy's Cafe, waive fees to play sporting events like softball, bocce ball, and horseshoes, free billiards, as well as the satisfaction of knowing that you are supporting the best senior center around. That's some deal. The Senior Center is celebrating its 27th anniversary and you are invited. Come to the Senior Center on Wednesday, January 15th to listen to some live music, eat a healthy and yummy lunch, and celebrate with your friends. The party starts at 10.30 in the morning and lunch will be served at noon. Tickets for the Senior Center's anniversary party are now available at the 
front counter at the San Bruno Senior Center, located at 1555 Crystal Springs Road in San Bruno. Come help us celebrate! If you're looking for a great way to celebrate the Chinese New Year, register at the Senior Center to attend the Peking Acrobat Show on January 26th. Enjoy a hosted buffet brunch at Cafe Florian in Foster City, then head to Berkeley to experience ancient Chinese folk traditions and watch the Peking Acrobats perform extraordinary feats of flexibility and balance. Register now at the Senior Center reception desk, then meet at the Millbury Library on January 26th for the 10.30 a.m. departure for this unique day of entertainment. Stay smart this year with the AARP Smart Driver Course for adults 50 and over. This refresher driving course will be held on Wednesday, January 29th and Thursday, January 30th from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. You must attend both days. Maintain your driving skills and stay up to date on new driving laws. Plus, by taking this class, you may qualify for a lower car insurance premium. Call the Senior Center to register for this important class. The AARP Smart Driver course on January 29th and 30th at the Senior Center. Indoor space heaters and electric blankets are great ways to stay warm during the cold months. However, heating equipment is a leading cause of home fire deaths. By following these simple steps, you can prevent most heating related fires from happening. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet away from heating equipment, like the furnace, fireplace, wood stove, or portable space heater. Never use your oven to heat your home. Have heating equipment and chimneys cleaned and inspected each year by a qualified professional. And remember to turn off portable heaters when leaving the room or going to bed. In honor of the memory of Martin Luther King, all city offices except fire and police emergency services will be closed on Monday, January 20th, and will reopen on Tuesday, January 21st. It has been my pleasure to bring you what's happening around town for January 2014. I'm Stephanie Tevis. We'll see you next time.